Hello everyone, this is Dr. Erhan Aslan, uh, the module convener of the option module LS2IC Intercultural Communication. This is a module offered in the autumn term as a part two module. So in this short presentation, I will give you some information about the module, uh, the module's aims and student learning outcomes, the way it is taught and the materials and assessment. The module has as its prerequisites two modules, um, Sounds, Grammar and Meaning, and English Language and Society. Uh, the module focuses on how people from different cultural, ethnic backgrounds or discourse communities interact with one another, not only in face-to-face -face situations, but also in technology-mediated environments, such as email communication, social media, and other online platforms. In, we will analyze patterns of successful communication between different groups of people as well as what causes miscommunication or unsuccessful communication overall. The aims of this module are threefold. Firstly, it will acquaint you with theoretical and methodological tools used in intercultural communication, such as discourse analysis and conversation analysis. Secondly, using these tools, you will be able to analyze and reflect critically on intercultural communication encounters in different contexts. Third, you will be able to apply your findings and observations to broader issues such as globalization, ideology, identity, culture, bias, or discrimination. In terms of accessible learning outcomes, you will be able to describe and explain key theories and concepts in intercultural communication such as interpersonal relationships, directness, politeness, appropriateness, face systems, and conversational styles. In addition, you will also be able to differentiate between face-to-face -face and virtual communication and analyze intercultural encounters in these modes of communication. The teaching and learning environment in this class will take different forms. Uh, classes usually consist of interactive lectures and hands-on activities where you will find the opportunity to reflect on class readings and share your personal experiences and insights. Some of the activities will require you to work in groups or pairs. There will also be opportunities to share and discuss ideas in our virtual learning environment, Blackboard, in the form of online discussions or reflections. The key text uh, for this module is Intercultural Communication, a Discourse Approach by Ron Scollin, Suzanne Scollin, and Rodney Jones. In addition to this main text, there will also be additional online texts, articles, or book chapters. And these will all be made available on our module reading list through the library, and this will be linked on Blackboard course as well. And finally, in terms of assessment, this module will be based on three pieces of coursework. 30% uh, will be for the weekly reflection posts, which will be based on the connections you make between your understanding of the reading materials and your own personal experiences or observations. There will be detailed reading guides uh, to be provided for this piece of assessment. Secondly, 30% will be on a mini research project, which will be carried out in groups on a particular intercultural communication aspect. The assessed part of the project will be in-class presentations the groups will deliver. And finally, 40% of the final grade will be a written essay of around 2,000 words on an intercultural communication topic of your choice. 
and I will provide alternative topics for you um, towards the end of the module for this piece of assessment. I hope you find the content of this module interesting and I would be very happy to have you in this class. Please do not hesitate to email me if you have any questions that have not been addressed in this short presentation. Thank you very much.